what relationships do they force you to grow? So there are areas individually, there are areas we needed to heal our own individual brokenness, areas of heart. You know, sometimes I was telling a friend of mine, you lash out at your partner, but you're just lashing out at your partner, Junia Kwapo, I'm your child. Mm-hmm. The person you're probably angry with is an uncle when you were seven years old. Or, your, you know, that's that's the dynamic. Mm-hmm. Or your father who was absent. You admit you guys were good friends. We were. We were good friends, yes. definitely. And mm-hmm. we, we, we built so much together. Mm-hmm. You know, we really complemented each other well. You know, there are areas he was very strong. There are areas I was very strong. Mm-hmm. So... Um, in fact, my mentor says one of the things is a man represents, comes in with the power, then the woman comes in with the influence. Yeah. And both are necessary because you need the power and the, and influence. the influence. Otherwise, if there's only influence without power, Something. Yes. you are the talent here. Mm-hmm. He is managing yeah, yeah. this talent, mm-hmm. running the business. Mm-hmm. And I would imagine when someone now walks out, something has to crumble. Yeah. Did it happen that way? Everything crumbled, Lynn. Everything. Everything crumbled. There was no... I was I was not prepared at all. A uh, very good morning to you and welcome to LNS. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now they say once in a while, every one of us must experience some sort of loss. But what we do after that is what matters. There's no doubt my guest today is an incredible artist. And I'm going to tell you guys something. She's one of the people in this industry who gave me my very, very, very first interviews. You know those days when you could call someone and they're like, who are you again? She never asked. She was like hey let's do it and i get to see her almost five years later for an in-depth conversation a lot has happened in her life and she will be walking us through her journey i do not want to preempt uh, because i believe it's her story and she is the only person who can own it so let's listen in and get to understand where she's coming from and what we can learn from her journey and also to thank you guys so much you have been incredible look at our community growing i look at it and sometimes i don't even believe it myself so thank you so much yeah leo si java elegance but as always guys go and show them some love support them and let them know that we appreciate them and now without further ado please allow me to let my guest today introduce herself good morning <laughs> good morning how are you i'm well how are you really nice to see you again nice to see you again yeah. after so many years after forever what seemed forever what seemed forever yeah still warm yes still expressive oh. you're doing a very good job Lee. thank you mm-hmm. god and i have to give you your flowers yes again yes. you know i think for me what broke my heart mm-hmm. is that that day you came with your yes. person yes and now to see how things have, have turned, turned around right yeah i feel I'm, I'm heartbroken right. because of the situation, mm-hmm. but I know everyone has their reasons. Absolutely. So maybe before we can go deep into the conversation, yes. please tell my people who is Viv and what does she do? Right. So mm-hmm. Vivian, my ID names are Vivian Wamboy, yeah. but of course many people know me as Vivian KE or Vivian Kenya. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine was telling me that my names and my birth dates are on google i was like hi Peru. hi yeah. so right how is that so i don't know yeah i, I don't know oh but, they uh, have an entire wikipedia <laughs> on you <laughs> they have data yes but it's all right mm. as you're saying we own our stories yeah and we are who we are mm-hmm. so what i'm most known for is uh, my work as a musician yeah. i've served in that space in this country for nine years clocking yeah. 10 years next year congratulations thank you very yes, much yes and it's funny i was <laughs> reflecting on it and i said mm. if someone would have told me vivian you'd be singing for 10 years what yeah. are you talking about yeah. so i'm glad that that has been part of my journey mm. but other than that uh, i'm passionate about matters personal development yes uh, growth um, and just elevating through crisis mm. yeah because I feel like globally that's where we are yeah we've been walking towards it unknowingly 
and you know the cookies have crumbled mm. and so many <clears throat> people have faced crisis especially after covid yeah. and people have been dealing with a lot of heavy things in silence you know like don't air your dirty laundry all that the, i i hate those statements mm. because they keep you gagged yes yeah so that's just basically what i'm mm. about yes fun loving very expressive Emotional, as a leader, anytime. Yes, and now, it's how to, how to go machozi, yeah. we, we embrace them. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I tell people, there's a reason God made you with tear ducts. Diokukuena provision ya machozi. You cry, you pick it up, mm. you focus on other things. Pole, yes. pole, pole, pole. It's, mm. it's a beautiful journey of life. Yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful journey. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I like that we are embracing who we are. Yes. You know, there were times when people would look back and they were like, crying makes you weak. Mm. Uh, it's like you shouldn't. And I'm like, for me, actually, it relieves me of so many things. Absolutely. I think people deal with emotions differently. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm a crybaby, <laughs> if that's the word. Like, <laughs> Aki, like We all are. I, I, I first cry and then I sort And then the you sort what is happening. Yeah. Because I always feel like once I let it out, now I am relieved. Now Absolutely. I can face what's on the table. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> As I said, it's nice to see you. Nice but see I you. always ask people when they sit here, right. why are we here today? Right. And why is this part of the conversation important for you? Um, well, as we'll say it another time, mm. is um, it's very important for each of us to own our stories. Because all our patterns in life are different. Yeah. Even for your children, your parents, your sisters, your spouse, you find everyone just has their own mm. pattern. Of course, we inherit through ancestral lineage and such things. Mm. But the idea for me is to own my story. Um, also, because we have, it's part of data. Mm. We have to record this data and yeah. put it out there. Mm -hmm. um, because it's like you're saying, even for your subscribers, sometimes you don't even know when the growth happens. You don't know when you be, yani ina kwangani kama inaenda tu yenyewe, yes, you yes. know, and you're never ready, mm. but that's the beauty. Mm. And that shows we are all interconnected. Yes. And I like that even when we speak, like as I share what's in my heart mm -hmm. and what uh, the God, God permits us to do today, yeah. Um, the idea is to also give someone else mm -hmm. permission yes. to feel things, to say things, mm -hmm. um, because mm. we need to connect, yeah. reconnect to ourselves, mm -hmm. to remember who we are, mm -hmm. to remember who God made us to be, because yes. we forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I know there's a lot out there. Absolutely. Yes. Um, you went through a separation. Yeah. Um, you've fought a uh, depression mm -hmm. you attempted or you had uh, you know suicidal thoughts yes, yes and sometimes when you are in this space yeah it's very hard for you to tell people you've gone through such things mm -hmm. because there's always that question of what will people say yes the what stigma. will this the stigma mm -hmm. so i want you to own your story uh, feel free to start wherever mm -hmm. but i'm really interested in your journey growing up because right. i was watching a certain documentary and uh -huh. i was like huruma Yes. Was it the one? It's it's on our website. Yes. <laughs> I, I was look like, for it. Who, you know, it. and there are these very beautiful photos of yes. you, throwback photos. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't think many people know your mm. journey. Right. So maybe if you could touch a bit from, from the, your life growing up right. to where we are right now. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Lynn. Mm -hmm. um, so I grew up in the ghetto. The ghetto. The ghetto. <laughs> I love it. Yes. In Huruma. Yeah. Um, I, I tell people one of the reasons I love uh, community. And I mean, I've had my traumas from it, but mm -hmm. I really love people. That's just a part of who mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. Is because when you grow up in the ghetto like Huruma, you borrow salt from the neighbors. Then my grandparents used to live on the other side yes. of the road. So in my language, we used to say mukera. Mm. So una, una vuka barabara wende, yeah. iyo saidingine. So for me, that was normal life. Yeah. So even when I'm, even when my mom is home or she's mm. not home, mm. I never felt forgotten yeah. or unseen because my grandparents are there, my uncles are there, mm. my cousins. It was a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. My neighbors playing it was there was such a beautiful sense of mm. community so that was how my upbringing was yeah. of course as i grew older we moved to pangani 
then my schooling, I was in Marion. Yes. Marion is somewhere in Kawawes. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was in State House. State House Girls? State House Girls. Ah, okay. State House Girls. Mm -hmm. So, and then I was, I did uh, A-levels. Uh, and then I did odd jobs, all kinds, like, nilikuwa tu ule demo wa mradi. Ehe, doi natoka wapi. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've sold Nimeuza ma thermos, Nimeuza. What odd jobs have I done? Yes. I can't even remember, but yeah. I love it. As mm -hmm. in, I love that part of my journey. Because you see what happens. Sometimes we think that we can only learn from certain people. Like maybe kwa head yangu nilikuwa na fikiria juni kwa state house, I'll only learn from here. Mm -hmm. But unanda unakutanda na mtu ametoka zijui busia, na kwambia hii kitu tunafanya hii. And it works. So, so there's something beautiful yes. about that. The whole king, yes. I've done a little bit of that. Uh, and then out of one day sitting and looking at my life, I'm like, hey, 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 my shame, my shame, my shame, my shame. what else do I, what are my desires, what are my gifts, what are my skills? And then I remember, by the way, I see, then my producer at that time, we were in school together. Yeah, yeah. He's called Philip from mm. Main Street. So he was like, at that time, he was at Ogopa. He's like, Vivian, just visit the studio. Wapi, lim, usichana inanisumbua, CND. There's nothing I'm doing. I'm just like... That's a studio ni yes. Remember, of course, now my time growing up, because mm. I'm in my 30s mm. now, mm. people mm -hmm. were, musicians were like, Yo si kazi. you know, people don't do things like that. Mm. But ultimately, out of the frustration of um, not having enough money and feeling like, I want to explore my gifts, yeah. why not? Yeah. I went to the studio, uh, did like one, two demos, then ultimately joined Main Switch, did my first song with mm. Jaguar. Oh, and life, good. yeah, took off, took from off. there. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I think that song produced by uh, Big Ted or something. No, Big Ted, uh, 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 Ted Josiah. Ted Josiah. He did the video. Ted did, oh, sorry, Ted did the video. Yes, I yes. think that's like the song that put you out there. The map, yeah. In the map, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a lot of. It was a lot of favor, Lynn. It was a lot of favor, a lot of showing up. I remember even going to the studio in South B, because I was an issue more. I was a lot of affair, but I ended up too, because I enjoy it. Then learning how to write songs, I ended up with a song, I ended up song, I ended up with a song, what do you mean with it? One day I told him, by the way, because I try songs that I read in Studio yeah. 10. Uh -huh. He was like, okay, now we are going to release this song. Uh, then, of course, I tell people we are created for our purposes. So my image, I just looked like a singer. In fact, some people were asking, who dem ni wa Kenya? Who dem ni tu wa Kenya? Kwanza kabisa ni to our boys. So, <laughs> uh -huh. so that, that process for me was, was amazing. It yeah. was amazing going to the shoots. And you know, we usually limit ourselves because you, you, you undermine what you have. Yes. But that what you have is actually might be all you need mm -hmm. to start you off. And I keep telling people, like that which you hate in yourself, that which you dislike, that which you mm. show less commitment in, in yourself, could be what sets you Absolutely. up. So like, I just like encouraging people to also try mm. the things they feel like now. E, like there's a bigger thing and then you ignore this one, yes. that which you're, you're ignoring mm. could actually be what you're created for. Kavisa, yeah. that mm -hmm. is so real. Yeah. That is so real. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely agree. Yes. You look on a dress. Yeah, your dress, I'm going to buy 50 book. Mm. Yeah, the one in the video. Eh. Eh. Then I had others. Tadjo kangali yangu zangu zote kanimbia. So Vivian, we're only going to use this one dress because oh. the others were even worse. Yes. Because una stylist, una nini, mm. like... Plus, those things really don't matter mm. because who you are, mm. you're already equipped fully. Yes. And we usually don't know these things. Mm. We feel like, I need this, I need this. And so we we chase the waterfalls. Mm. Like, we chase things that we can't really yeah. grip. Mm. So I showed up with my dress. I, I did the most. I didn't, like... This idea I met a teacher of mine and he was asking me, Vivian, did you not, my primary teacher, so my school is having a reunion, so yes. I met my teacher yesterday and he asked me, Vivian, did you actually date Jaguar? I'm like, I didn't date Jaguar. Nothing. In fact, he was like a father figure to me at that time because he used to tell me, Oh, unakati wakati watu? Unakati wana nani? Oh, you kwanza usiwe yonge anaye? Then when people ask him if he's going for a show, where is Vivian? Oh. They're like, jipati ya kazi unuuliza Vivian umfanyi. Yes. So he was very protective. Mm. And even in the first project, he fully funded it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Jaguar. Yeah. Oh. Nilili, and I took Nakango Kango. 
ikaimba and now have we you know but that's the power of our gifts we undermine them yeah. but they are all we really need yes. yes and they can open doors for you make you see it in Kabisa. front of kings and queens absolutely yeah mm-hmm. yes. and then you met your person we met with my ex uh in my third year I think in 2017 mm-hmm. if i'm not wrong mm-hmm. Um so I'd already been singing by that time for three years. So most of my uh, songs that were big in clubs and all mm-hmm. these pieces were out the dream woman in love. Remember yes, that song? Yes. A woman in love. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um there's another one called Same Girl. Mm-hmm. There was Ter- Teren Teren actually Teren, Teren, I met I, him. Yes. yes, I met him immediately after the release of Teren Teren. Mm. That's when we met. Yeah. Yes. That was a beautiful song. It was <laughs> it, was, it still is it still is it still is it's still nothing is. like was still there's no, is i i tell people there's no wastage in anything you mm-hmm, create mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah cuz you look back you either learning or growing mm-hmm. yeah yeah we don't like growing it's mm-hmm. uncomfortable ah man the pain is the pain is mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's that stage in your life where you actually want to go back to mm-hmm. being a child yes Because th- I think the more you grow, the more complicated. Because you have to grow up. The things, the things you have to grow out of. Mm. Who is equal impatient? How are we going to mentor now the likes of these young girls? Yes. If you're impatient. Yeah. Na ukimwona unajua tu. Because you've been there. You've, been you've lived it. Yes. You know, so we have to grow in our patience. Mm. And, and because I'm a believer, I like telling people. In fact, Pastor Pete was telling me this. Uh, in first corinthians where it says love is kind love is patient remove the love and put your name oh. and then giangalie gauge yourself I you'll realize things. you're doing very badly because mm. are you kind are you patient? are you patient do you keep a record of wrongs or mm. not do you forgive quickly mm, that's do good you, yeah that's good mm-hmm. oh oh that's a nice one mm-hmm. we remove love and put, put our name so lin lin is, is kind lin is kind lin is patient mm-hmm. Lynn does not keep Re- record of, of wrongs. Me, I think I keep. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no way I'm qualifying for that verse. Yeah. But it's growth. But it's growth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How was it like you guys? What, what what attracted you to each other? Um so he he at that time he used to run a radio station mm. and he had also started his digital company mm-hmm. in Nakuru. Yeah. So when we met actually he got my contact from one of his presenters. Mm. And I remember when he texted me so I can be so many people have told me <laughs> especially the guys when I don't know you nakuliza <laughs> unataka nini? Like ah, ah me I don't have time to waste. Yes. Because people have agendas. Mm. Me my life does not have space for people who don't know who they are and where you're going especially if you want to be in close proximity because the wrong person can really divert your mm. existence utapotea upotee ujipata ng round zako sijui ni za sijui kufanya nini vitu as it makes sense na ziku grow so aliniandikia sijui nini nikamuuliza what do you want can i be a no i just i just wanted to ask uh, to tell you you're doing a good job with your music i like your song and i wanted us to meet i wanted to see if we can work if we if um, i can like contribute mm. to your career mm. as a musician hi gosh must so win man already the music industry sayo mini fresh kwa music industry kwa hivyo already na una stars the men are on my case the presenters are on my case the producers are on my case mimi mwenyewe i'm trying to find my bearing head from back and whatever it's very it's it's a space it's like umerushwa depend mm. na ujawai swim kwa life yako mm. so you're gasping for air literally but i thank god because i think his grace was sufficient mm-hmm. and i tell i i tell people my word for the season and inshallah next year we'll do 10 years of vivian celebration mm. i tell people my word is god has preserved me it's very difficult to have your head above the water and be level headed when you are operating in a space that is highly toxic it you know it you're human it eats you you know because you yourself the reason you you're in that space yourself is because you're also toxic there are things also you need to deal with mm-hmm. yeah so just that mess and that chaos and confusion so that is going on and then now this guy is Can't. here talking to me 
I'm like another one, really. Nikamwambia, okay, niko busy, but nikipata time nita nitakwambia. Eh. Na kuanga mkali. <laughs> but when I get to know you, I, I I'm sure pia wewe ni mkali. Ni vile wewe usema ni. You 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 is enough when I get to know someone. I is enough when I get to know someone. Yeah. Mm. So, ultimately we continue talking and we met for lunch and he told me I don't want anything from you I just want you to see what I can do because the online space is growing that time was around 2017 mm. so the online was now starting to yeah, to, to bulge yes so I'm like okay so mm. what's this digital mm. thing Pia sina copy ya mambo ya digital so I said okay then I asked him what do you want in return he said nothing I just want you to see like what what we can do mm. I said, okay, so we'll, we'll work and then we'll do uh, like an analysis in like six months mm. and then we'll see if we mm. still want to do things together. But now when we started, we became friends, we get, got to know each other, we became fond of each other. Of course, for him, I think he was also like, he had already spotted like, mm. I like this girl, you yes. know. So of course, it started like now we started dating and yeah, mm-hmm. we eventually did a traditional wedding yeah. at Rorashio. Mm. I was laughing what Pastor Pete was saying. I was watching your interview in the morning. Mm-hmm. It was funny. So what was saying about Rorashio. Yes. So we did the Rorashio in, it must have been 2018. Sometimes you forget these things, but around mm-hmm. that time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and our journey started. Started, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you, you, you admit you guys were good friends. We were. We were good friends, yes. definitely. And we, 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 built so much together mm. you know we really complemented each other well you know their areas he was very strong their areas was very strong mm. so um, in fact my mentor says one of the things is a man represents comes in with the power then the woman comes in with the influence yeah. and both are necessary because you need the power and the, and influence. the influence otherwise if there's only influence without power Yes. And if there's only power mm. without influence, Pia. Mm. So, and that's the that's the purpose of <coughs> relationships yeah. between men and women. Yeah. It's a unit I've been studying. Mm. There's there's something I'm developing mm. anyway. We will talk about good it. Good job on that. Yes, yeah. but the idea is for it to be complementary mm-hmm. and not a space of competition. Yes. Because the brain <coughs> of the man and the woman, we are ninety eight percent similar, two percent. But the two percent now is in women being more intuitive, men being more logical, yes. and these things are meant to complement each other. We just mm. need to get into that dance yes. and have respect <coughs> mm. and stop the competition. conflict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it easy for you to introduce him to your child? Cause you yes, mm-hmm. um, it was not. It was not because, to be honest, I felt like. I needed to figure out some things and I felt like I remember even thinking about it before the proposal thinking that I really need to figure myself out mm. to figure myself out musically to figure myself out uh, where I'm going to figure myself out as a mother because I'm the mother to this beautiful girl and I need to know I need to find my mm. my bearing yeah. so I didn't know I didn't know like how to do that integration and I felt like I needed first to work on me. But well, sometimes life happens and, yes. and you can't regret. And there's no, no, there's no manual. There's no manual. Mm-mm. You know, you go in and only later on now you look yeah, back and you look like, back. what could I have done better? Absolutely. Mm. Mm. How was your relationship? Um, <coughs> our relationship had its ups and downs mm. like any other relationship. Mm. I think that's the most cliche statement. Um, but I think we we really wanted the marriage to work. So even on the days we were having tough times, we tried to get help and all these things. But there's something, I don't know how to put it clean, there's something about already the dynamics of a young relationship are tough. Then I have a child, he has a child, yeah? And then add in the public, yeah? So it becomes like survivor. <laughs> you're giving me a yeah? Because yeah. the things you're trying to balance, you're not internally equipped. 
now I can say that because now I'm in a season where I'm equipping mm. myself, mm. right? So we had the best intentions. We really wanted to do things better, but individually, there are areas of growth we had not tapped into. Mm. So it became, you know, like how uh, the interview with Pastor Peter was saying, supposed to be Christ-like. So mm. understanding that concept, you know, yeah. and those details. But I think everything has its purpose. And when I think about that relationship, to be honest, Lynn, I might not tell you the details. Mm. I might not have it fully. Uh, one of my colleagues was telling me some of these things you even realize three, three years later, oh, this was, you get it. So what I decided to do in this season was just to focus on who I am mm -hmm. and who I'm becoming mm. and what I want to represent. Mm. And now that journey has been another one. But yeah, the, the marriage, as I said, we were good friends. We, we did so many amazing things together. We traveled together. We toured together. We, like I, I have no... I have no qualms over what that season mm -hmm. was, especially the things that were working. But now the things that were not working, we were not equipped, mm -hmm. I would say. You were not equipped. But that's just my limited thinking. Yes. Zingine ntenda nikijua life ikisonga. Ikisonga. Mm. And there's something you mentioned, you know, you were in business together. Yes. And sometimes, you know, you come across this saying, never be in business with your partner. Even if you're in business with your spouse, have structures in place to protect you. I mean, you are the talent here. Mm -hmm. He is managing business, yeah. this talent, mm -hmm. running the business. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine when someone now walks out, something has to crumble. Yeah. Did it happen? That Everything way? crumbled, Lynn. Everything. Everything crumbled. There was no... I was I was not prepared at all. So it was not only losing the the partner that I was used to for so many years. And you can imagine if you're working in close proximity, you're with each other probably every other day. Yes. Yeah. Um, then living together. And you know, ideally, a proper marriage, you have to synergize, you know? Of course, uh, you have to create a proper foundation but you also have to synergize. So we were completely synergized. And especially for me now, as a musician, it was like, okay, so who will I talk to business about? How will I handle these things? Mm -hmm. Then at that time, um, I had a bad contract. I just recently got out of the contract mm -hmm. and it really affected even how I was doing my releases. And the contract just ended, I think, earlier this year. And so business was not good. Business was not good. I am now a single mother again. Uh, you know, there's some sort of hostility. I mean, ideally, if I was to be honest, Lynn, I, I would have preferred for the separation to be amicable, but sometimes it isn't and there's nothing you can do about it. Wasn't it wasn't amicable? Not really. It was, it was a little hostile. Who walked out? He walked out. He walked out. Though within the marriage, we'd, we'd had bumps. You know, we'd had spaces where I had walked out at some mm. point, then yeah, he came back, back, then, you know, uh, but this time he walked out. Mm. And even as he walked out, initially, we tried to repair, right? So we did a few meetings, we even did a meeting with Pastor Pete. Mm. We, we tried, but I think what relationships do, they force you to grow. So there are areas individually there are areas we needed to heal, our own individual brokenness, areas of heart. You know, sometimes, I was telling a friend of mine, you lash out at your partner, but you're just lashing out at your partner, Junior Kwapo, am I your child? Mm -hmm. The person you're probably angry with is an uncle when you were seven years old. Or, you, you know, that's that's the dynamic. Mm -hmm. Or your father who was absent. Mm -hmm. Or when I get, like, you're, you're hurting. Things have hurt you. And the world is broken. Lean. You will, people will do things to you. It's normal. Mm. But the idea is how do we make moves for our own healing, right? Um, I like to use the example of Nelson Mandela. That guy was jailed for so many years and then for nothing really. Then when he came out, the same people who jailed him, he got into a collision mm. with them. Mm. 
he forgave them. Do you know that probably healed the world in a way that nothing else has? Because that's the thing that bothers us the most as humans is carrying burden of unforgiveness. Mm. You have to forgive. Were, were you bitter at some point? I was. I, mm -hmm. I was. It's. I mean, it's a stage of grieving. You, you're angry. I was angry. I was bitter. I felt like, you know, we, we were committed and now this person, you know, is no longer committed and they... They, are, they no longer want to be held responsible for anything. They no longer want to be asked anything. But over time, I realized he was also hurting, you know? Mm -hmm. And you know, some of the things I'm studying is how men hurt and how women hurt, mm -hmm. yeah? It's different. It's different, it's different. And my mentor was telling me yesterday, mm -hmm. I might not have seen it, but he probably felt like a failure. And for a man, failure is huge because you are celebrated for, you know, your achievements. This is my car, this is my wife, this is my house. Mm. So you're failing publicly in a marriage. So there's a lot of, that devastates a man. Mm. Do you think there was like power struggle? Cause mm. hey, it's Vivian we are seeing on the screens. It's Vivian doing collabs. Mm. You're here with Akina Chameleon. Mm -hmm. You're here doing beautiful music. Mm. Because you are very gifted. Yes. That, that's a Thank fact. You, you know, mm -hmm. it can't be disputed. Right. So do you think that maybe there was a bit of power struggle that he felt like you were really out there? And yeah. he's not out there. Obviously, he's not here to speak for himself. For himself. But do you think maybe that was the case? Mm, I think it's very easy for a couple to mm. have a power play. Mm. Especially, as I said, if the foundation is not right. Mm. And... And I wouldn't say it was deliberate. I think sometimes it just happens, you know, because even now, I'm sure for you as Lynn, there's a place you didn't know you'd ever get to. Absolutely. And maybe there's someone you met now and they will feel like, hey, you, you're too big or mm -hmm. you're what. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you don't know what's happening because these are gifts and you. So I, w I would not say it was deliberate, but it's possible mm -hmm. there was a power play because the the level of personal development in each of us mm -hmm. was limited mm -hmm. you know because the line of work we're in it's more about image how do i look how are things looking how are our numbers you understand yes. so very little focus goes on internally who you are yeah and i think that the 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 thing I've, i i really wanted to ensure i did even as i did these interviews was I really wanted, even if someone watches, watches this interview five years later, for people to understand that I have no spite with him. I don't even know where to, to store spite because it's just going to eat me internally. And I had to consistently make a decision to let go and to let go with love. Mm. Irrespective of how I felt like I didn't know what to do with the life that's there. Even now it's not completely come together. But at least there glimpses of hope and I've found some sort of but it's still not easy mm. no it's not easy no, no it's you not. know I was just checking online and I've seen a couple of rumors here and there mm. that he left because you couldn't give him a child how mm. do you expect to be with a man for six years right and not give him a child right what, what do you want to say about that um so the decision not to have a child was joint for me and him, mm. because remember he had a child from a previous relationship, yes. and so did I. Mm. So the idea was to find ways first to integrate these children, mm. and then now maybe get a child yes. of our own. Uh, but of course that didn't materialize. Mm. But there was no, there was no malice at his like, but I'm told, no, 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 it was just, it's something we agreed. You know, as a mm. couple, you, 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 have, sit down. you sit down and you agree what mm. works for the two mm. of you. Mm. Yes. And that was just like, a joint decision. Yes, yes. But when people say such things mm. out there, right, um, attacking your decision not to yes. have a child right now, how mm. does that make you feel? If it was maybe a year ago, I'd have felt very hard. Mm. But right now, people are projecting. Yeah. And people have skewed perceptions of what makes you you. There's someone who has six children, but they're not happy. Mm. Having a child, it's a gift, it's a good thing, but it still doesn't define mm. you. Being a woman, being a human being, all these things are not defined by the roles you play. Mm. 
you, even in the song I sang, I said, you're a child of God first and foremost. And those are the things I meditate my mind on. Mm. Because all of these things, vanity, mm. and yeah. if you look at, you can even, not to say this, but even death happens. So now will you stop being you? No. No. No, 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 no. You keep going. Yeah, you thank God for these additional gifts, mm. but the biggest gift you have is mm. you and the gift of life. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Back to the business partnership yes. because you are an artist. Yes. And of course, when you have someone doing a lot of paperwork, mm. doing a lot of management, running of the business, how has that affected you as an artist? Mm. And are you able now to put one plus one together for yourself? Or is your career right now at a place where it's just confusion and mm -hmm. I don't know where to go from here? Mm, I'm definitely in a transition space, mm -hmm. but the focus now is on rebuilding myself as a person. So creating is always a part of who I'll always be. Yes. I even recently released a song. Ah, with Waire? Yes. I, you sent it to me and yes. I was like, this is nice. Yes, thank Considering you. Considering I, I, I honestly love you and I love Waire. So yeah. when, when I see those two, two. come together, it's it's beautiful, you know. Yes. Rhythm and flow. Rhythm and flow. Tra Rhythm dance. and flow, yes. Koredi. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mean, there have been areas where I have had to step up mm. and grow up and come in and do things myself. And it's been hard. It's not been easy. But then the question I kept asking was, even in this music space, am I willing to go back into dysfunction because some of the areas, some of the contracts are dysfunctional? Mm. Or do I just focus on what is working for now? Mm. So I decided to focus on what is working for now. What I can say is I I don't think I'll ever stop singing. In fact, I feel at a say pa dini member sim meto sheka. Member I'm jato sheka. No, why you know it's Hi. something it doesn't fade. <laughs> Like it, it doesn't fade. I mean, it's not. It's like <laughs> it's like Hendrik. He will disappear for five years and, and come then, back with an album. And yes. Like, I need. I need. I needed this. Or like J Cole will this on Yashinsky. Like yes. He won't sing for a while, but then mm. he wakes up one day and drops music, and yes. all of you are like, ah, Finu, this uh, is good. It's true. It's good. Um, maybe I'll take up that Kendrick Lamar. Mm. Nini, uh, he's called yeah, Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yes. I'll take up that that model. Yeah, and and come back yeah, with I, something amazing. I think what stops someone from taking a break sometimes it's the financial freedom. Yes, because yes. you know you're a mom now. Mm. You have a daughter. You need she needs school. Absolutely. And sometimes when you're an artist, yeah. unless you have like a lump sum of money somewhere, yes, it's really hard. It is. But I can't lie. I'm, I'm looking forward to the day I take <laughs> a break even for a year. Mm. Yeah, and just go and sit with myself and just refocus, mm. re-strategize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's something for me, like, I've seen it work for a lot of artists. Yeah. It's, it's, it's recommended. It is. Actually, it is it recommended. Is. Yeah. Because it's, that's when you stop and do like even life analysis. Yes. Yeah. And you look internally. Mm. Am I happy? Mm. Did this, was this exciting at mm. first? Has it stopped being exciting? Yeah. What has changed? Yeah. Who am I now? Yeah. Maybe when you started, you were not dating or you were not married. Maybe yeah. now you're married. A Maybe you didn't have changed. a, a lot has changed. So you've also changed. Yeah, a lot. Because when things change, you also change. You change. Yeah. So even your creativity changes. changes. So um, I'm optimistic about uh, finding the right people to work with musically. Mm. Mm. Because right now I'm not specifically working with mm. anyone. Mm. Uh, but hopefully the right people mm. in the right time, that structure will come together. Yeah. But if I started Nangwoya 30 Bob, I think right now it will be easier. Mm. <laughs> It is. It's gonna be easier. It's gonna be easier. Yeah, because yeah. your gift is your gift. You Absolutely, know, you can only grow. Like I don't think, you know, as long as you keep feeding your yes. skill set, yes, and understanding. Yes, I have talent, but if I don't work on it, someone will eventually come. Yes, na pite. And and even mm. lean mm. the healing. Mm. There are times you take in so much, you have to go through your own healing, yeah. so that the content you're producing is mm. edifying. Mm. It has, we're living in a very hopeless society. Yeah. Well, no has left mm. There's a lot of hopelessness. Yeah. So as any creative, it is important that we all use the spaces that God has given us mm. to speak light. To heal. To heal. 
and you cannot do who you are not. Mm. I say you become and then you do. Then That's you how do. it works. You, yes. Yeah, otherwise you're just operating. Ni kama unasoma notes unasomea watu. The transformation has to be internal. That's powerful. Yeah. Are you happy? I am. I am really. Actually I started walking into my happy space maybe a couple of maybe a week ago or two mm. weeks ago. Maybe mm. I can't remember. Mm. But I am. I have my my pockets of panic and fear. But because of my spiritual journey as mm-hmm. well and the vigor of that space the new patterns and the new life i'm creating because my life did an overhaul i think what they don't tell you about separation is when it happens kuna watu wenda nayo cuz you also morphing it's like the the metamorphosis of the caterpillar mm-hmm. to the butterfly mm-hmm. do you know at one point the caterpillar becomes pulp mm-hmm. so inakuwa kama uji so ukiwa uji nani yako hapo hakuna Yeah. And then now it reforms and then now becomes a butterfly. Mm. So when you are butterfly you can't hang out with the caterpillars mm. anymore. You know? Oh, yeah, and become something. Yeah, you you've just and and you can tell. Mm. I'm sure even you, you can tell the, yeah. the woman I am now. Yes. So it's so different. It's so different. Yeah, now yeah. I like calm vibes, mm. kachai. Mm. Naku eh, chill to kuchill to kitu yeye poa. Yes. So that when you come up a you find safe spaces to speak about difficult mm. things mm. and you grow your capacity. Yes. Yeah. L- let's talk about your mental health mm-hmm. because of course when you are suffering from those thoughts it's important for people to know where you are right now and yeah. how you came out of it. Yes. Are you still there or mm-hmm. how are you dealing? How are you coping? Wow. Um you know by the time I was saying something in public mm. Max and I had already been separated for a couple of months. For a while, even maybe like five months mm-hmm. or so. So by this time I was in shock and devastation. And I didn't even know that what I would share would blow up like that. Because I felt now I'm here, my life had been integrated, my life, my daughter's life with this man, and now we are no longer he's no longer in the picture. And now the things i i had not done for so long i needed to yani you're trying to find yourself you're trying mm-hmm. to find your external it can be so overwhelming mm. and at that point it's very interesting i think the reason why i believe in god and love god so much is because i really believe that he he is the only one who those seeds that were planted at mm-hmm. that time mm-hmm. he's the only one who made me because mm-hmm. that's when i got into psychology ara ukiniuliza vile nili apply na nini ara sikumbuki because i was just in a daze and i got into spiritual school so those spaces spoke into my personal healing so i've done therapy so i did therapy mm-hmm. and then getting to understand my identity yeah that i'm not defined by these things that mm-hmm. people say mm-hmm. by likes mm-hmm. by what mm-hmm. by you know mm-hmm. it's about number one, i belong to my father in yes, heaven yes. yeah and so that gives you a a, f- a security mm. but sometimes you don't believe it yeah because your mind has been mm. full of junk so it's a space of renewing your mind mm. and your spirit it's messy yes one thing i tell people about healing anyone who'll tell you healing is about roses and butterflies and balloons they're lying mm. now wow yes, yes. you're lying you're lying healing goes across it can start from going for church na kesha <laughs> from finding yourself with a one night stand mm. that's how broad it is because you're in a mess you've crashed you've crashed and you've probably not been exposed to spaces that speak life yeah. in fact i say pastor pete was one of my lifelines because when i started my career i met him and i was hosting karaoke and he's a pastor so i told him mimi na host karaoke niko hapa galeria ukitaka unaweza pitia <laughs> he came i said no this is Kusha. the guy yes. a pastor who's coming for for karaoke yes. so we became friends mm. and of course we've had our seasons in and out but he's generally been there even he's the first person i introduced my ex to mm. and then just the whole process even when the separation was happening mm. he was there yeah. so he's been really crucial even towards seeing the light mm. even when i couldn't see it and i think for me what hurts my heart is people are in so much pain lim and we don't create pockets of healing do you know sometimes 
you can be in such a this you just need to talk to someone for 30 minutes yeah. you're even hanging mm. you're like Ata, nilikuwa, nilikuwa, nafanya, mm -hmm. and i've been there yeah. and it breaks i think it breaks my heart mm. because um i think people are walking are walking okay. as as a uh, zombies mm. because there's no room yeah. for you to be you were and and my mentor told me yesterday he was telling me because I was asking him about the healing process of the man and the woman and mm. he said a friend of his was going through a separation and he asked him where do broken men go that broke my heart what are not women women we have pockets even no one cares even if you live at your mother's at whatever age mm. but men there's so much pressure on who the man needs to look like like what Stapit was saying yesterday. So us who are not buying it, are we not men now? So you can imagine that brokenness. And my heart went out not only for us as women. I mean, as we have our things, because now you need to grow up, learn how to manage your emotions and such things, and learn how to not operate mm -hmm. from your trauma points. Mm -hmm. But the men... A man can even go through something so tragic and keep quiet. And keep smiling. Keep smiling. Even for five years. Mm. Until one day something mm. in a prekio kitu. Yeah. So we need to understand yeah. that this is life. And loss is a consistent part mm. of life. Mm. It's one of the units that we're doing in school. And loss, loss is common but so many people are not equipped i usually say for me i like to use my life as a as a, an example to many people but then i feel like it's such a blessing as well because i give people permission to become anything mm. 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 The, the goal is to stay alive mm. what we are aiming at is for people to to, mm. to stay alive mm. so if today staying alive means having 17 glasses of wine i'll be here with you ukitapika mm. ndakuwa nashikilia nywele if it means going to church and going for a weekend at what camp mm. yeah church for mm. four days mm. sawa i'll be there i'll be there yeah and i think sometimes all you need is someone who says yes i'll be there yes and i like that you've embraced therapy i remember my first session let me tell you guys <laughs> therapy is not easy no. you know when you sit with a therapist i think this is why people fear therapy because it <laughs> makes you do the inner work you know a therapist will just sit there like a tree <laughs> and let you talk yeah you know yeah. and you need that sometimes and I, I i i think the first session for me with a therapist was just like god this is so tiresome right now i just want to go home yeah it's too much because in, in a force but the more you do it the more healing it becomes the more you sit there with someone and you just let it all out, the more healing it yes. becomes. And yes. I think that's something everyone, yes. they are not the easiest. No. I even have a session today. <laughs> they are not the easiest, yeah. but I think now, even I'm really craving to go and yes. talk to my therapist. Because yes. you know, you talk to them about your wins and your losses. losses yeah. Sometimes the conversation is just about losses. Other times it's about I've been trying. Yeah. And then other times it's about wins. You yes. know? And you want to share that with someone who will not judge you. Absolutely. But on extending grace and love, assuming your ex is at a point where where do broken men go? Because yeah. I also don't want to assume this was easy. Yes. For him. I don't it wasn't. Would you want to tell him anything? Um I really wish him the best. Mm. And if he feels there are areas about himself that are not proper, because you feel it. Eh? And deep down you know yourself. Yeah, you know yourself. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Mm. Because there's a role that the men play in our society. Yes. And when our men are healed, our women flourish. Yes. Yeah. Because a man who's healed knows how to make mm. room for you as a woman, mm. knows how to love you right, knows how to just handle make room, you. handle you. Mm. And we need to stop this narrative of men are not important. They're very important. Mm. I tell people when my crisis landed, I had three father figures in my life 
So I had my therapist, I had my coach in the spiritual class I'm mm -hmm. doing, mm -hmm. and I had Pastor Pete. Men. Men. And that men who speak life. And you see, these men have accepted for God to use them in that way. Mm. Because sometimes men feel like, hey, you're my boy, your mama. Ah, ah. Because you can imagine, I'm still a national figure. Yes. Lynn, when I'm very broken, how many people are breaking? And this is because a man is refusing to heal. Just do it. You have to see things not from here, from where when our children or someone goes through crisis. And I said losses. It, it can be through a separation, a death. It's loss jolts you out mm. of. Yani, ujinga unafa uchuko if you weke kando. Because you have to grow up. You have, to, you have to show up for yourself. You are used to living with someone. No, it's you. So you're there. Everything is you. Mm. Whatever bill, kikuja, whatever needs mm. to be done and all these things. But God sends angels. Mm. Me, I tell people, for every thing that breaks apart in your life. Yes. In fact, um, with loss, it says for every loss, there's a gain. That's actually a principle. Mm. We don't think about it like that. No. Because when you're in loss, you're just in loss. Yes. But there's a gain because there's a growth, mm. because there's a lesson, mm. there's a gratitude. Because you, you start seeing, by the way, yeah. Jana, my mind was sick, but yeah. today I'm better. Yes. You become full of full gratitude. Of gratitude. Mm -hmm. I know we have to wind up, but yes. again, this person was integrated into your life and your daughter's life. Yes. How did you explain his departure to, to my your daughter. daughter? And what do you think you will do differently yeah. next time you yeah. get into a, a relationship, relationship because of your daughter? <laughs> uh, okay. Number one, for I think it was hardest for me mm. because you see I was most active in the yes. relationship. Yes. And uh, of course, my daughter already has the biological dad, mm. so that helps. He's and present. He's present, Good. and they have a relationship. Mm. So that helped me deal with this crisis. Mm. Eh? Uh, my daughter and I have always been friends, mm. so we just sometimes sit How in silence. She now? She's 13. Oh, man. 13! I have a 13 year old. Hey. I'm very, by the way, I'm very happy. Amen. Uh, since I started school, CP Kangi, mm. my mom has become so lazy. I mean, I'm going to be 12 years a slave. I'm going to be 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 a slave. So, um, it's not been easy. Mm. We're still in that process. Um, I have spaces that are helping me understand parenting better. Mm. Uh, there's a class I'm doing. I'll send it to you actually. Yes. Um, and even more than that, I think right now the focus is on fully spreading my wings as Vivian. Oh, yeah. I realized there's so I had really just scratched the surface mm. of who I am. Mm. So it's tough because sometimes I have to psych myself up. But God has sent. I have helpers. I have yes. people who love me, yeah. who care about me, mm. who check on me. Mm. I um I tell people I'm next door. I'm next door to my mom. So I live here. My mom lives here, mm. and my mom has been amazing okay. through this season. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Mothers are a gift. Gift. Mm. Uh, so even when I'm not cooking, I'm like. What are you doing? Say this thing. Let me say. Kukula kwa madi. What are you doing? You're not selling me. Yeah. 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 I think it's 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 a journey, mm. but the focus is also to create. Mm. When you create, because I tell people, God is the original mm. creator, mm. and in Him we live, yes. we move, and have our being. Yes. So everything that He created, every day that He created, He said, and I saw that it was good. Yes. So the best thing you can do in whatever space of life you're in is create. Mm -hmm. Whether it means whatever you're good at, mm -hmm. whether it means conversationally, mm -hmm. like how I started the podcast, whatever it is. Good job on that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah guys, it's on her YouTube channel, not yes. an ad, but check it out. Yes, yeah, Vivian Kenya official. Yeah, good job on that. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. God, I know time is not on our side. Muga, just a minute, but mm. there's a video I uploaded some time back yes. about a certain lady in the industry yes and your comment was somehow towards this is a very toxic yeah industry yeah that you're in yeah is our entertainment industry toxic yeah because it's so dangerous to have influence and zero substance so ndani you're a shell 
externally you know how to dress it well to have your makeup on or to have the nice rides mm -hmm. or whatever but whatever is spewing out of your mouth is not life-giving you know it's mm -hmm. fake it's mm -hmm. what so mm -hmm. it's very toxic and there's a lot of abuse even physical abuse and uh, sexual. lust, mm. those sexual nuances, and they rob you because you're supposed to be a treasure. You're beautiful. So someone is supposed to be speaking mm, light into you. Too. Yeah. And granted, we make our mistakes because I don't think there's anyone who's never dated mm. the wrong person. Mm. But when that becomes your way of life, when that becomes what you need to do to become mm. or to be seen, mm. it's dangerous. It's dangerous. People need, people need to mm. heal and, and I think that's one of my mandates. So help me God. Yeah. 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 You'll be my partner in that space. Amen. Nisha yeah. Kuingiza. Nime come. <laughs> Nime come through. Sijui tutungera. I'm samat fanyanini but what's next for me? Um, so I'm developing a, a curriculum, mm. a workbook. Mm. And this workbook is centered upon personal development. And it'll, it's a workbook event. Mm. So it'll have spaces of music because that's a gift I have. So I'm putting all my strengths together. And then so I'm using my mm. brains and of course my what I'm learning in psychology mm. and spiritual yeah. to guide people that's good. on how to connect with yeah. who they are. Yeah. Yeah? Like mm. what gives you hope? Mm. What is the best memory you have of yourself? So things like that. Mm. So that's what I'm developing. Mm. And God willing, I'll launch it yes. because people need tools. We are in a crisis of anxiety, mm. depression, lack of identity, so this scrolling, so empty, much. empty, mm. empty, empty. Mm. And it's killing us. Mm. If I had if I had suicidal thoughts and they were not a joke, they were proper, I cannot imagine what someone else somewhere is going mm. through. It must be mad. It must be mad. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Divorce in the limelight is never easy. No, it's messy. It's messy. It's messy. It For any artist out there that feels the need, you know, to protect a certain kind of persona, no matter how much they are hurting inside, because again, what will people say? Uh, what will people think of me? Any person out there, maybe from this industry, that is going through a lot and they are scared of talking. I believe there's power in talking. Yes. There's power in speaking your truth. Yes. What would you want to tell them? Uh, number one, sit down with yourself, mm. figure out what you're feeling, yes. and don't don't try and sieve it out. Mm. Feeling angry, depressed, uh, betrayed, whatever, mm. joyful, yes. hope, whatever it is. And then if they feel confident enough, they mm. can reach out to me. Yes. And I have a community of coaches mm. and uh, psychologists, mm. if they don't feel confident enough to talk to me, but uh, there's help. There's help mm. and it's affordable. Nowadays, even online uh, coaching is like 1500 mm. for an hour mm. or so. Mm. Or even you can negotiate. Yeah. For me, I, I said, as I got into psychology, yes. for every creative, mm. I will give a free session. Wow. Every creative, wow. free of charge. Yeah. Because I wish when I started my career in my early 20s, that one person sat with me for one hour. So that is my gift to entertainment. Wow. Every mm. just reach out. And they reach out. I my Facebook sometimes and I tell how, them how can they reach out? So on my Facebook, um mm. Vivian K E, mm -hmm. Instagram, Vivian underscore K E as well, mm. Vivian Kenya official on YouTube. Mm. Um and I think we'll put the details yes, in the they description. Are, they are on the comment on the screen. On the screen, and eh? they'll be pinned on the comment Yeah, section. so you pin them yeah. uh, and I'm accessible. Mm. And even through Lean, mm. you can reach out can. to me. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm here. Lean, we need to save lives. We need people to stay alive. Because when you die, your gift dies with you. And it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And I cannot underestimate it because I have not had suicidal thoughts for one day. It's been sometimes months. It's been, and I'm just dealing with it and I don't know how to deal with it. Mm. And I'm looking for hope and I'm looking for the light. And my mind is in a mess. Mm. But if I was able to come out of it with the public, Dominus is just the hand of God, really. Mm. I think God really wanted me to be in this space for mm. some reason. Mm. So I embrace it as part of my purpose. Mm. And uh, I'm not perfect. Mm. But I show up every day mm. and I try to speak from a point of healing and love as yeah. often as I can. Mm. Yeah, as Go much you. as I can. 
yeah. go out and conquer Amen. go out and conquer the blessing is from lin iri na ingine no go out and conquer yeah. i'm proud that you're still putting beautiful music out there yes. again seeing you in a collaboration with wire yes. that was beautiful Thank do you. not at any point in your life give up on your gift Amen. yeah but i meant to ask mm-hmm. <laughs> i'll apologize so much but i if i don't it will hurt because <laughs> rhythm and flow yes. with wire yes. was very different mm. for me i just wanted to ask why rhythm and, and flow. flow yes Because life has its own rhythms and mm-hmm. flows, mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, one of the things that I'm developing in this curriculum yeah. is routines, yeah. So life already has its own routine. So the sun rises in the morning, yes. sets in the evening. That's mm-hmm. a routine mm-hmm. every given day, every given yeah. Day. So the rhythm and flow mm-hmm. is what is your personal mm-hmm. rhythm and flow mm-hmm. in the flow of life. So starting and that's why the song started with identity. Yeah. It first started with identifying the problem because yes. I was singing too. Yes. It's hard, I know. And you want to mm. give up and mm. you feel like you have nothing yeah. left. Yeah. But God says mm. there's a way. Mm. Yeah? yeah. You're a child mm. of the king. king. He's not even a subordinate, he's the king. Mm. So rise up, go with the rhythm and the flow. Yes. The spaces that put you out It's easy man. It's easy. Redirect. Yeah. There are spaces that will mm. celebrate you you won't even believe. Mm. Yeah. So, I never saw myself as a teacher, but here I am. Here you are. Yeah. What do you say to the critics? Uh, show us what you're creating. Mm. Yeah. And you're only allowed to criticize if you're creating. Mm. If you're not creating, mm. songa uko. Songa uko. Mm. Yeah, good good luck. Mm. No good luck. Best of luck. Thank you. You know in the words of Maya Angelou when you know better you do better you do better so looking okay. back what do you wish you had done better um probably worked on my personal development mm. but where was i gonna nani angeniambia hiyo kitu hakuna and now you have all the time to do it now it's never I'm, late it's never late it's never late si bado nimeiva sana ume you let me finish let me wind up but yes. i don't want to do so before i ask you if there is anything you think maybe you needed to talk about that we haven't touched on yeah. feel free uh i think the focus is mm. on the curriculum the yes. workbook i'm creating yes. um god willing i'll also manage to do a launch of mm. it good and i want people to embrace mm. living a whole life mm living life from a perspective of light mm-hmm. not darkness mm-hmm. see at the curtains imefungwa uko hivi a a life is beautiful life is, is god beautiful. gave us this life mm-hmm. and there are things that are happening externally yeah. i get it yes. however yeah. your internal radius mm-hmm. that's the most important part mm-hmm. capture your thoughts when you're having a particularly bad day find mm-hmm. someone to talk to god is here he sends active helpers yes. i'm a living testimony good. so people to lean in mm-hmm. and be ready to grow to grow it's a beautiful journey yeah. it's a beautiful journey yes. healed people heal Heal. others yes hurt people hurt people uh, to yes. mechoka na ku to mechoka i think Lizzie everyone tumechoka. is i think everyone is to mechoka i think to mechoka na is. suicide to mechoka kuruka kwa balcony to mechoka sijui kukata intestines we are tired we need to see the light and focus on the light mm. and keep moving towards yeah. the light yeah. and you know when you're in the light the best thing you meet other people who are mm. in the light yeah. so there's a strengthening yes. that happens and then beauty you talk to nana prince charming yes uh, okay una okay let me not ask that but ah! utakutana but anyways thank you so sasa hii bairo nimeshika ya mimi thank you so much uh, vivian for coming it's thank really you. nice to see you and thank i'm you. wishing you a lot of healing yes. a lot of growth yes. i'm wishing you the best with your art but it will be so wrong for us to end up before we hear something from you ha! give us give us something give only us if you are dancing eh? i'm vegani I'm <laughs> Only if you are dancing. No, of course I can try to move my non-existent cue you know, but So do we do we dance now or do we first sing? No, sing for us something and then we'll dance. Are we dancing? Yeah. Oh. There's a dance routine. Okay. Mm. To no, sing. I sing first. Mm-hmm. Eh? Okay. So we'll dance this one here. We'll dance and Lynn is going to dance. <laughs> and if you, dance, <laughs> if you don't see the dance, if you don't see the dance video, Joelina <laughs> litoroka. Yes, mimi nitatoroka in advance. I'm saying it but anyway. So the song is, is um go with the rhythm and flow. Trust in Jaja he knows. Ukumbuke you're a child of a king. Kila kitu kila kitu kila kitu itakuwa sawa.
So what? Uh, so what? Uh, hey! <laughs> it's a jam! <laughs> it's a tune! It's a tune! <laughs> yeah, it's available on all streaming yes. platforms on my YouTube channel, yeah. featuring the one and only one of our great father figures he in is, the industry. He is. Why Ray? The love child. Dope, 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 dope so, guy. Such an amazing human being. Absolutely. But all again, okay, dance mutagoja, my people, but all. All in all, I'm wishing you all the very best. Go Thank out you. there and conquer. Amen. Face your fears. <laughs> become the best version of yourself, yes. you know. And it's good. I always say true healing starts when we start to work on ourselves, yes. you know. And I hope, guys, at home you've been inspired by today's conversation. I, I keep so. saying everyone has a story. Like, yes. actually, everyone has a story. So I hope you've been inspired uh, by today's conversation. I hope you can go and check her out on YouTube. She has an amazing podcast going on yes. on her channel. And also check out my personal favorite song right now from her Wairi and Vivian yes. Hapo Rhythm and Rhythm, Rhythm and Flow Sinisawa mm. how you can be able to connect with her the details are right here on the screen reach out to her do not be shy no. of what you are going through no, no one is perfect no. life is a matter of judgment growth. to let your judgment to let your God eh. and growth is painful so don't think you are the only one who is going through it huh? but let's go through it Love together it. Sinisawa mm. yeah so guys um never mind I, I don't know if these ones will be of help to you but i received this gift uh, from mudoni jomba i'll be putting her details here on the screen their body beautiful. confidence self-love just beautiful affirmation notes uh, that you can i was doing them today in the morning and they were present also she sent me this and our girl name you remember the episode of mm -hmm. name we had featured uh, she sent me those and i was just going through them in the morning mm -hmm. and they are very beautiful so check them out too also go subscribe to vivian kenya pinned on the comment section is her youtube link go show her some love and remember to tell her lynn sent you i appreciate all of you i don't know if you when you watch this we will have gone to belgium already mm -hmm. but we have our beautiful trip in in europe so guys you can always share your story info at lnn.digital that's where you can find me or lynn.gogi at lnn.digital scholar and muga thank you so much for shooting this incredible episode supervised by our girl bernice who is just here honestly admiring vivian and i'm just like bernice but also no, to our, yeah to our incredible editor sam and kelvin for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches our audience right on time i appreciate you see you tomorrow at 10 a.m bye